Hello all, uh, welcome to the new video of Signals and Systems. In this video, we will study about the lossless transmission lines. So in the previous video lecture, we developed the general equations for voltage, current and impedance at any point on the transmission line. Okay. So now continuing from that, today we will study about the lossless transmission lines. So the main purpose of transmission line is to send signals efficiently from one point to another. Okay. So this is the generator end, then there is a transmission line and there is a load. Okay. So the main purpose of transmission line is to send signals efficiently from source to load with minimum power loss on the line. Okay. So since the power is lost in the resistance of two conductors and the conductance of the dielectric between these two conductors, when we say lossless transmission line, we mean that here is taken such that the resistance is equal to zero and the conductance is equal to zero. This is in fact theoretical. Okay, practically there isn't a lossless transmission line. Okay, because expecting R to be zero and conductance to be zero is practically not possible. So this is a theoretical context. So a lossless transmission line is one which has resistance is equal to zero and conductance is also zero. Okay, therefore. For a lossless transmission line, our uh, propagation constant, which was R plus uh, J omega L, J omega L into G plus J omega C will become, after putting R equal to 0 and G is equal to 0, the propagation constant will become J omega L and j omega c this will be equal to j omega root lc and the characteristic imprints on the lossless transmission line will be equal to j omega l upon j omega c this will be equal to root of l over c okay so these are all the constants for a lossless transmission line okay so, as you can see, for a lossless transmission line, the propagation constant gamma is purely imaginary. Okay. So, if we write gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta, for a lossless transmission line, we have alpha is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is the condition for a lossless line. Uh, now we will see how to, not how to find out, uh, in fact it is how to modify the basic equations for voltage, current and impedance for a lossless transmission line. Okay. So I hope everybody is aware how to find out the basic voltage and current equations for a transmission line from the load end. So if you know that, you can easily derive the equations for a lossless transmission lines. So now I'd like to show you that. So we are all uh, building this uh, equation and uh, these are all the foundation. Okay? After learning all this, you can easily study the various impedance matching techniques and all that. So just uh, go through the basics from various textbooks which you can afford and if you have any doubts you can use the comment section in there. Okay. So now we will see the impedance variation on lossless transmission line. So let's find out the transmission line equation for a lossless transmission line. So we have found out the equation for impedance at any point on transmission line which is given by the equation 1 which is Z of L, where L is uh, the 
distance from the load end of the transmission line will be equal to Z0. This is the characteristic impedance 1 plus 2L e raised to minus 2 gamma L upon 1 minus 2L e raised to minus 2 gamma L. So, this is the reflection coefficient at the load end. Okay. So, for lossless transmission line, we have learned that gamma term is purely imaginary. That is, alpha is equal to 0. So, gamma is just j times beta. So, for lossless transmission line, our first point will be the impedance at any point on the lossless transmission line can be given by this equation. E raised to minus 2 j beta L upon 1 minus E raised to 2 j beta L. Okay. You can write it as j times, uh, sorry, I will write it in this way. 1 plus 2 L E raised to minus j 2 beta L. 1 minus 2L raised to minus J 2 beta L. Okay. Now we will further simplify this equation so that we can use it for other applications. So let's do that. And before we can modify this equation like in this manner. Okay. This double can also be written as Z0 into E raised to J beta L plus OL E raised to minus J beta L upon E raised to J beta L minus E raised to minus J beta L. So what I have done is I have taken E raised to J beta L, beta L common from this term. Okay. So then you will get this equation. That is impedance at any point on the lossless transmission line can be written this way. After that we can use the fact that E raised to J theta is equal to cos theta plus J sin theta. That is complex equation how to represent the complex terms in terms of cos and sin. So after doing that we get a proper equation. Okay, so let's see that. So let's substitute the value of 2L in the previous equation. Then we we'll get Z of L will be equal to Z0 into this will be ZL plus Z0 times E raised to J beta L plus ZL minus Z0 times E raised to minus J beta L. In the denominator will have ZL plus Z0 times E raised to J beta L minus Z L minus Z naught times E raised to minus J beta L. So there isn't much explanation in this part. I am making this video so that whoever is following this video will know the exact steps to find out the impedance for the lossless transmission line or any of the transmission line which we are discussing. Okay. Uh, most of the subject is based on equations only. So after that you need to understand with the help of practical applications. Okay. So just follow what I am doing. Now next part will be we will need to take out the common terms and all that. Okay. So this will become Z0 times. So ZL is a common term. So ZL into E raised to J beta L plus E raised to minus J beta L. Then Z0 will be taking Z0 out, we will have E raised to J beta L minus E raised to minus J beta L. Okay. In the denominator, we have similar. Okay. 
taking z l out e raised to j beta l minus e raised to minus j beta l plus z taking z not out we have e raised to j beta l and here minus of minus will be plus so this will become e raised to minus j beta l this is a plus okay now we need to use the complex representation okay so the complex identity says e raised to j theta can be written as cos theta plus j sin theta whereas e raised to minus j theta can be represented as cos theta minus j sin theta so using these two if we add one let's call it as equation 3 equation 4 so 3 plus 4 will give us e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta will be equal to 2 cos theta whereas e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta will give us 2 times j sin theta ok so using these two identities we can further simplify these two terms these four terms so let's do that and we'll get a proper representation of impedance at any point on transmission line uh, for a lossless transmission line so after using the complex uh, representation we can write the numerator and denominator as follows okay those terms are now just 2 cos beta l and 2 times j sin beta l same goes with the denominator now as you can see uh, this 2 is present in numerator and in denominator so we can cancel this everywhere so the final equation of uh, impedance at any point on lossless transmission line will be z0 times zl cos beta l plus j z0 sin beta l upon we will write this in this manner z0 cos beta l plus j times ZL sin beta times L. Okay, so this is a very important, another very important equation. So, in any of the competitive exam, they can ask you what is the uh, characteristic, what is the impedance at say. L is equal to lambda by 4 or lambda by 8 on a lossless transmission line. Then you can directly use this equation if you remember it. Otherwise, if you remember the procedure, you can easily find out. Okay. So, this is the transmission, uh, the equation for impedance on any point of transmission line or a lossless transmission line. Sorry, I keep forgetting that lossless term. So, thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, now after learning what is transmission line basic concepts and equation in the first video then we learned about the what is characteristic impedance how to derive that after that we studied about how to finding out the impedance on any point on transmission line then we studied about the lossless transmission line so keeping all things in mind we can go ahead now with the what is quarter wave transformer which is used in impedance matching okay so if you have any doubts please use the comment section and kindly subscribe to our channel so thank you